hello everybody welcome again two of undead over explained down 20 tv to this chap so we're gonna get assistant coach that's the best you can get with 20k um, he has a block goo and i have nothing <laughs> so we shall receive and try and bang them out if you ever win the toss always receive um, that is a very good rule there are times when it's incorrect, such as games you're going to struggle with Skaven when you want to kick and stuff. But even then, even then, I think that uh, a lot of the times, you know, like, there's a bit of uh, Dunning-Kruger, isn't there, right? So, like, people will think that they're being clever, but actually they're probably not, and they should probably just receive. That's what I think. Now, I could be wrong with that assessment, but I think... People kind of tend to think, I think people in general underestimate how powerful getting to start with like all the punches is. Um, and they, you know, they value like things that they shouldn't and they should just value banging people out because banging is pretty good. Especially like new players, eh, vampires, yeah, but even vampires, right, could just receive, get the four hits, score a quick tutty. But yeah, vampires are a bit different. But as I mean, like the it's a new kind of series, right? Like the the uh, the times where you it's correct to kick. Like nobody knows the times it's correct to kick. That's what I'm saying, right? Because there's no there's no blood bowl stockfish. There's no set in stone answers. Um, so. No, he's really right. So high kick, we'll move the one furthest away to get it. It's now got two ghouls next to the ball. Um, this five man OS is just going to try and 2D everything, right? There's no, there's nothing clever here. Um, let's just try and 2D everything. Start with the block blocks. Um... I think as much as as good as blitzing is here I think I'm not going to be able to so do the chevron formation to avoid a surf bring this guy up to tighten up the screen and uh, right a blockless block Good. Flesh Gums are pretty annoying, right? They stand firm and stuff, but uh, I still think it's worth. I still think it's worth, uh, you know, hitting it because I'm stronger than it. Like, I, I want his strength fours stuck on my strength fives. I think, even though my strength fives would be no more chance of hurting an armor eight player. And I really want to. Hit with blocks on the 75% knockdown to the 55. But um, also, it's pretty good having them just dominated to an extent. None. And as long as I knocked one of them down, I'd be able to get this 2D with the zombie. Okay, and it dubs skulls. That isn't quite good enough. Okay, wouldn't have rerolled the pickup there, but wanted to try to get it up before doing the blitz here. Which, uh. I'm gonna bring him. Back to kind of you don't need to make a full X cage, right? This is well enough protection. And I want to have another go at knocking down this fleshy. Mm, I think I just take the bolt down. Stops him hitting one of my players. 
Obviously he's higher AV than me, but it was my last action. So uh might as well just Might as well just get him on his ass. Him casting my zombie isn't as isn't as good for him as me casting his fleshy is for me. What did you find out today, Dimmy? Also, I'll try and talk during the opponent's turn, so I've already gone into bonus time here, ludicrous. So I'll try and just play the turn a little bit quicker and then talk about it afterwards. That was a good idea from chat yesterday. Not like yesterday, last time. Oh wow, this was very poor from him. He should have utilised the uh, stand firm on his, on his flesh golem to stay there and not get hit by a mummy next turn. Very not good. Yeah. Did you not know that, Dimmy? And so's August, isn't it? Never guess. Uh, right, so save moves first. Stand him up. Punch him. Blockless. Don't care because it's a it's a wolf, and I'm getting to hit with a mummy. Fail. Never lucky. Um, I mean, there's only one choice here, and it's blitzing this guy. So then I've got to think about the ball. Right? How do I keep the ball safe? Actually, what I want to do is do the blitz first. Oh my goodness. Right, so this is great, isn't it? You know, no knockdowns. Wonderful. I still feel like I want to make that block. Well, what I can do is I can move him here first. Put him there. No. No, then I've got a block first. Okay, got a got a block plus block. Which means that this guy is surfable, but I've just got to hope that he doesn't do it. It's not it's not very easily surfable actually. Okay, so this is this is pretty terrible. This is going pretty terrible, but you know, look, if your dice are terrible, things go badly. That is the way Blood Bowl works. Okay, so that, that knockdown and stun's pretty good. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, if you just don't do anything to your opponent, you're going to struggle. <laughs> Hello, Coach Morg. Yep, the mental, yep, it's pretty sad, isn't it? 255% has missed them both. I could have uphilled uh, the fleshy, but of course, with him having stand firm, there's less point attempting that. Yeah, in the old days, the the, the battles were quite brutal, weren't they? Um, you know, so what I mean is, um, obviously, the battles were smaller, but the rate of like death was far higher. This is a frenzy trap than uh, in later wars. Like, I don't know, like the, le the, the lethality of engagements, if you like, was greater. Um, he's not re rolling, he is re rolling that. Okay, he gets away with it. 50,000 died at Kanai, didn't they? I can't remember who, who that was. Was that was that Romans at Kanai? I can't remember. The song was like two million people died, didn't they? But as a percentage, as a percentage of people involved, that's what I mean, right? So like, so like more total was two was the was the song two million? There was like more total, but as a percentage of people involved, it wasn't as high as. Everybody dying. <laughs> like, that's the thing, right? Like, in Kanai, it was everybody died on the losing side. 
everybody was dead. <laughs> so, you know. Um, I could surf a zombie here. Which is kind of okay. But it means I'm hitting the wolf rather than blitzing the wolf and hitting him. So I think I'm going to blitz the wolf with block to kind of make sure of it. And then come back down. Safety first. And go out to there to make us a three dice for the mummy. Good job it was three. God, I'd follow now. He doesn't get an assist. Oh, I mean, this is this is fine anyway. This is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, this ghoul can now try and dodge to go all the way over there. Quite like this, actually. Now, uh, the bad thing is I'm getting based by the flesh golem. But I don't want to get surfed. And if I punch that, I'd be in danger of getting surfed. That gives me the block with block. Which beats him off. And then it gives me this 2D here. Which gets the power. So yeah, th this guy was safe right doing him. Oh, finally. <laughs> That's really good, isn't it? Hopefully he doesn't regen. Brilliant. No regen. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. And, uh... Yeah, so like this was a lot safer, right? Like I had the cover in case anything went wrong, then made the block. So like this was this was safer, but I lost a little bit of equity because what I could have done was had him still up there and then tried this dodge and then made the block there and stuff. So the ordering was safer, but not optimized, right? It would have been better to have the ghoul here and the zombie there. So you've always got that tension between your two um, your two things on offense, right? Your two Vectors? Are they vectors? Are they vectors? Dementor, you're a you're a you're a clever chap. Are they vectors? Are um are protection and penetration, right? And then on defense it's cover and pressure. And basically if you have one if you get more in one, you necessarily have to get less in the other. Is that vectors or not? It sounds good, doesn't it? It certainly sounds good. Okay, I can probably surf a wolf here, right? Push him there. And then, like... No, nah, I'm just going to... I'm not going to... I can coin it, yeah. Let's let's coin it. That sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, I should have stood this guy up first. This was la lazy and shit of me. Okay, so let's think about where these guys are going to go. He's going to dodge. Who's going to blitz? I'm maybe going to blitz the wolf. Um, this guy's going to stand on on this uh, guy. Okay. Balls, pretty safe. Again, I'm, I don't need to move, so I could just make it like more safe, right? So now the ball's totally safe. Even if this is a one in twelve nine six, the ball's totally safe. I could follow and then blitz this zombie to um, to protect my guys from the wolves. Or I could blitz the fleshy here. I think I want to protect my guys from the wolves. 
No, I don't know. They, I'm, I'm risking the mummy there, no. So I, I think I just stay. Nice. <laughs> um, so now I think we come for the uh, come for the fleshy. Whack him in to cancel the assist. Oh, I'll take the board down. Do I? I've only got two re-rolls. That removal's great. That kind of changes the risk profile in a way, right? This is uh, this has made it a lot better for us. Um, I think the fact that I it's for less time, like obviously huge payoff as well, right? The flesh. Do a one here. It's just a two plus. That gives us the 2D there as well. Too late, too late, Evil Moose. But, um. But, next video, thank you. <laughs> I need a channel for engagement questions on my Discord. I've got a Discord, by the way. I need, I need to say that I've got a Discord now. Um. Apparently, it's funny, you know, people people like comment on things and I see like, you know, like shared discords and it's like, they've always got like five or six shared discords and they're never in mine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've got a discord. There's the discord people in Twitch. No, yeah. Um, dip, duck, dive. Axis, yeah, maybe Axis. Continue. Uh, hello, Auto Joy. Hello, Benny Bartes. Dip, duck, dive. A vector is something to do with flying. What's our vector, Victor? Do you have clearance, Clarence? I don't really don't know what a vector is. Single row of column matrices. Is that not really? Is it vector field? A vector for each point. That that's almost feels like something. I don't know. Right. Oh my goodness! Look at this guy. It's like I wish I had a frenzy for this chap. Unfortunately, I can't cancel both of these blocks. What turn is it? Turn five. I could try and just push forward this turn. Uh, block the two zombies. In fact, I don't need to be block one zombie. No, I need to block both zombies. Over. If I want to go up there. I want to blitz this guy so I can block the wolf, eh? Which means I have to start with this block. See what happens. Okay, so we did not get a knockdown. Okay, I should have moved the ball before this. Bad mistake from Jim. Couldn't have eaten the dub skulls. Now I can go here and it's pretty safe. This is still a cage, so I don't have to do it. So we can do this block first. A blockless block. It's 
So this means that I could dodge there, but obviously one in nine dodge fails one out of nine times. So I really don't want to make a dodge, even with a, a player with dodge. It's just too likely to go wrong. So instead we'll have to run all the way around and punch this guy. Keep him in between my two players and uh, keep him tagged because he hasn't got an assist. So now this stun has probably made the breakthrough for us, actually. Getting a little bit late, getting a little bit panicky to uh, get forward here. Um, but yeah. There seems enough mathematical uh, definitions of what a vector is that I can say. Okay, a term that refers informally to some quantities that cannot be expressed by a single number. A scalar. <laughs> Physical quantities that are unaffected by changes to a vector space basis. Ah, yeah, your coordinate system transformation. I've got no idea what any of this means. Vector sounds good, though, doesn't it? There's two vectors. Right. Now, I could block and stuff to get through, but I can just move through. And just moving through is safer than anything else, isn't it? So this guy can go there. And then this guy can go here. And I can make one block there. Um, maybe this guy wants to blitz. Oh, this guy can blitz, right? One, two. Oh, this guy maybe shouldn't have gone there. I could blitz him. Oh yeah, blitz him and get the uh, get the Google off. Way. Oh my god, I blitz with block. It's so good. And that gives us the three point cage. Um, this is good enough, right? He's low agility and there's no one around here to blitz. So this, this does enough. And that was the safest I could do it, just one hit with a uh, block. However, because I decided on that blitz, I should have stood this guy up already. That was a bit of a mistake. I would definitely like to punch this guy. Just because this failing is less bad, right? The, the mummy's going down is pretty bad. So let's just greed these blocks first that um, don't really matter if they fail as much. I've got two to one there with that just the push, brilliant. So I don't follow so that you can't chain me with a 1D. And uh, as much as I hate this, I'm going to have to make this one in nine at the pow. Gonna not follow to stay on the fleshy. There we go, lovely. So, so there was an argument with blocking with the mummies first, eh? Because the mummies have got mighty blow, so they're better ones to make. But yeah, I went with the ones that were le less work, less bad to fail. Because um, I didn't really, I didn't really want a mummy to go down. So if these go down first, then that's okay. And I'll, whether that's wrong, I don't know. Maybe it's better just hit with the mighty blow first. But I wouldn't be re-rolling, I don't think, because you don't know if this guy's gonna like, you know, one dice blitz and base the ball or something. Well hey, lovely skull. Oh now his ghoul gets surfed. That's okay, isn't it? Ah, and he's concealed. Okay. Yes, that's a very good point. Yes, Dementor, yeah, like the, the, these the payoff for those blocks was a lot more, wasn't it? They were, I was hitting a ghoul and a wolf, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, especially for like, also, yeah, so like, so first of all, it was safer pr for protecting the position in case of failure, and also there was bigger payoff for like the second half, etc., right? Because, uh, 
you know, if he's down at Wolf for the second half, that's way better. So there you go, he conceded, which was completely fair because he, you know, he he'd lost the game pretty much. Um, <laughs> you know, he was he was he was he was. He, you know, he's not the world's best player. I know people don't like it when anybody takes any criticism, but um, he was, you know, he's a bit off his depth coaching wise. And then also, he, you know, he, he'd failed region on the uh, fleshy, so he was down the fleshy. He had a KO'd wolf. He just uh, frenzy trapped himself. So he was in a bad way. It was completely understandable. And also, you know, like, he's going to think the dice are against him, right? Because he's just scold and stuff. So, like, it's it's hard. It's hard for new players. So uh, there you go. Ah, thanks very much, Barney the Lurker. Fantastic. That's that's good. That was the uh, that was the idea. And uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.